What are you still doing awake? It's very late if you hadn't noticed. And, well, I can't do my thing if you're still awake. I'm a sleep paralysis demon, not an awake paralysis demon, you know? And that's my attempt at humor, by the way. You could at least throw me a pity laugh. Hey, look. I know you've been having a rough time lately. I'm not stupid, and I see you every night, even if I don't act scary or give you nightmares. I'm not a total monster, you know. So what about this? You get some sleep, and I promise I won't do anything scary tonight. You seem like you could use a break for a little while. Just give me a chance. I know you don't like me, and that's totally fine. I absolutely get it. But in my defense, we don't get to pick what we are in life, do we? I didn't choose to be a sleep paralysis demon. Any more than you chose to be a human, you know? But I know I haven't been helping lately, and I don't want to pretend that's okay just because it's my job. I feel really bad about the way I've treated you lately, because it looks like you're struggling a bit at the moment. So tonight, I'll help you out. I'll keep you safe from anybody else trying to give you nightmares or any monsters under the bed. You'll get a chance to rest and recharge. Do you mind if I sit on the end of the bed? I'm really light, you won't even notice me. You never normally do anyway. Unless, you know, nightmares and stuff. I'm sorry about that again, by the way. But if you don't mind me sitting here, then I can be comfortable too. Your bed is really soft. It must be even better for you all tucked up with a pillow. I want you to know, by the way, you're doing really well, even though you're having a hard time. I know it sometimes feels like you aren't, but you are. Every day that you get up out of bed and make it through the day, you're succeeding. Even if you don't manage to do everything that you think you should have, some days are just hard, and it's okay if all you did was cope. And hey, you know what? This isn't how it's going to be forever. You'll be happier again one day. It's not your fault that you're struggling, and you have every right to feel scared and upset. Just because you see other people, and they're apparently doing better than you, it doesn't mean anything. You only see the highlight reel of their lives. And guess what? That's them. You're you. I know I'm not the only one who thinks you're a really great person. The unknowable hideous thing that lurks in the corners and awaits inevitable doom thinks that you're pretty great. Likes your jokes and the way you carry yourself. Oh? I'm getting the impression you've never noticed Thu before. Yeah, we call him Thu. His full name is a bit long for everyday use. Well, he looks a bit creepy if you ever notice him, but he's a nice guy. Harmless, really. Just creepy looking. Cats and dogs stare at him a lot. You know when they do that thing where they stare at a corner and go all weird? That's Thu. It's really a shame because he loves animals. Anyway. <clears throat> Just, we have faith in you. I know you're having trouble having faith in yourself, but I know you're going to get through this rough patch. I wish we could do more to help you out, because you mean a lot to us, me and Thu. Having a human around gives us a bit of company, and I'm really glad that you're our human. I have some friends, and their humans are just... nothing. Really bland. They're happy enough with them. But you're different. You're definitely my favorite human I've ever been a sleep paralysis demon for. And... the reason you feel this way. I'm not going to pry, because it's none of my business. But keep in mind, it doesn't define you. 
mental illness, physical illness, grief, all of those things. They don't define you as a person. You are so much more than a diagnosis or an event that's happened to you. You are so much more than you could ever imagine. I've known you long enough to be sure of that. I've seen what you can do when you're in the right headspace for it. <sighs> Settle in and let sleep be a relief. You don't need to use this time to replay all those things you feel you should or shouldn't have done. We can only make the best choice that we have available with the information we're given at the time. Nobody deliberately sets out to make bad choices. Sometimes there's not even a choice available. You just have to play the cards that you're dealt and hope it turns out okay. We've all been there. I know it sucks. Plus, you expect too much from yourself sometimes. You wouldn't expect anybody else in your position to be perfect. So why do you have to be? I mean, imagine if we swap places. You wouldn't treat me as harshly as you're treating yourself. And you definitely wouldn't say the things you say to yourself to somebody else. Sometimes, if you're treating yourself too harshly, it can help to pretend you're dealing with a loved one. Think about what you would say or do for a friend. And do that for yourself. I mean, think about how you'd feel if someone spoke about a loved one the way that you're talking about yourself. I don't know. Maybe give it a try and see if it helps. Because you're my loved one, you know? I wouldn't be anywhere without you. I want to see you happy again. You deserve to be happy. You really do. And that's not putting any pressure on you. If it takes a hundred years, it takes a hundred years. Things don't have to change all at once. You can start small. Don't beat yourself up for sleeping in. Congratulate yourself for getting up. Don't worry too much about the things you didn't get done. Be proud of the things that you did. Because I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. It's really late. Get some sleep. I'll stay here and keep an eye on you. It's going to be okay. I promise. <laughs>